guys, today we talk about the Air Max 1 from the Animal Pack 2.0. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cost Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe. And if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Air Max 1 from the Animal Pack 2.0. Man, oh man. Peter, don't get angry at me, but these sneakers are dope sauce. Man, I was lucky enough to grab these sneakers from Bows and Arrows on a dope Bear raffle from them. Shout out to Bows and Arrows from Berkeley. From a few videos ago, I had said that I liked these sneakers better than the Air Max 95. But as time went on and I continued to look at both of the sneakers, I actually liked them equally. So I hope down the road I could grab the Air Max 95 associated with this pack to complete the pack. So for all you sneaker lovers out there, I know you guys have seen pictures of these already. So let's make it quick. Looking at the inside of the sneaker, you'll notice that it has Nike Air Max logo on the inside as it's surrounded by a brown colorway and the footbed is white, nothing major there. On the outside of the sneaker, you have the silhouette of the lovely Air Max 1 and the thing of course that sticks out is the faux panels of animal all over the sneaker which is dope consisting of zebra, tiger, leopard, pony hair and a little bit of giraffe in the middle can't go wrong with that this is the definition of an animal pack anyways on the lateral and also the medial portion of the sneaker you'll have a sport red nike swoosh on the side panels there on the back of the sneaker you have the nike air logo in green i put the green laces in they look pretty dope in my personal opinion they probably are the best laces for this particular sneaker it also comes with an assortment of white also comes with a red and also comes with a black and as you've seen the green laces as well. Looking at the midsole of the sneaker, you'll notice that it has a white rubber midsole and also you'll notice that the bubble in there or the bubble unit in there is colored in green. The bottom of the sneaker is covered in a gum outsole which is dope in my personal opinion. Again, you cannot go wrong when you put a gum bottom on a sneaker. So going back to how I caught these sneakers, I put in a raffle at Bows and Arrows in Berkeley. They are really fair with it and it was only applicable to local people. So shout out to them for doing that because lately all the sneakers seem to be dropping in New York, LA, Chicago, and you know, we're not getting too much love in the Bay Area. So Nike, step your game up, give and show the Bay Area a little bit more love if you're watching this. These sneakers were very hard to cop. You know, on Saturday morning, I tried to cop these sneakers on various different websites, including the Nike Draw, and of course, L, 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 over and over again, but I'm glad to have caught these so I cannot complain too much because I know a lot of people went through these sneakers and failed. In regards to streetwear, these sneakers are probably gonna be worn best with a muted outfit, muted jeans, muted shirt or top or whatnot. You might be able to put a little bit of green in there, a little bit of red, but this is the main statement piece when it comes to your streetwear outfit when you're wearing it. And I'll probably need to do an outfit of the day with these sneakers to give people an example of how these can be rocked without overly being hype beastie and having like all sorts of different things going on. This is the you know main piece of the outfit so you have to let it talk and just mute out everything else with a black, a white, a gray, a brown, etc, etc. Pricing wise, these bad boys were going for 160 bucks. I thought it was a pretty fair price giving the uh, quality associated with this, although it's not real you know, um, animal skin. In regards to sizing, I went with a size 13 for this sneaker. Usually my normal size when it comes to Air Max 1 is a 12 and a half, but I did not see a 12 and a half anywhere. So I went with a 13, you know, put a little bit of thicker stocks on and I'll probably be good to go with these bad boys right here. So Casa, question of the day, people. What did you guys think about these sneakers overall? Did you try to cop the animal pack 2.0, the 95s, the ones. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know which sneaker you prefer between the two. Again, for me personally, I think I like them equally. 
and overall I hope I could get the Air Max 95 down the road. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already, and hit that notification for the one time if I gave you some dope information throughout this video, guys. But anyways, my time is up. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.